Hey, what is up YouTube? You're tuned to Poke Talk TV. I am your host Brian and in today's video I'm gonna really quickly tell you guys how you can get the judge feature uh, So you can see your Pokemon stats So the judge feature allows you uh, if you've never seen it before or had it in a previous game It allows you to let's see here. We're looking at our Pokemon here, right? So I just picked this random Pokemon here um, if you hit the plus button you'll get your stats like normal. You can access this at any point in time in the game. Um, but then if you hit it again, if you have it, then you can see how your IVs are here. So you can see this guy's got nothing really good. So you've got decent, decent, uh, some very good, some pretty good, uh, no good and very good. Obviously this Pokemon is not set up for competitive. It's just one that I caught from my Pokedex some time ago. Uh, but to get the judge feature, and this is probably the latest it's been in a game, uh, that I can remember some of the other games you can get it halfway through the game uh, right around the time of your last gym or something like that but this time you're gonna have to go through the entire game you have to beat all three storylines the path of legends uh, victory road and operation starfall you have to complete all three of those you're gonna have to take down the Pokemon League you have to uh, do the end game where you go into the um, area zero do all that story basically once you roll the credits you're going to be able to go back um and hit, visit any pokemon center uh, i can't show it to you here because i've already got it obviously but you can go to any pokemon center uh talk to the attendant there and they'll eventually say oh by the way since you have the hall of fame badge you can now access the judge feature and that judge feature is going to be really really useful because again you want to be able to see what the IVs are on your Pokemon uh, so that you can you know, decide whether you're going to hyper train them, whether they're good. Let's say you're breeding uh, and you want to see what the stats are on your Pokemon. Uh, of course, IVs can also be hyper trained, uh, but hyper training is basically just like super powering uh, and maxing out those stats while not actually affecting the Pokemon's IVs. Like if you breed a Pokemon with hyper training, um, those stats are, it's basically going to take whatever the intrinsic stats are on that Pokemon. So if it happens to take the special attack here um, from Iron Thorns, the best it can give it is decent, uh, which is not very decent. I mean, it's something like around the 20s. I can't remember what the different levels are, but best obviously is a um, 31 IV and you want best for your Pokemon. So I'm going to make this a really, really quick video as today is my birthday and it's December 15th. Uh, and I wanted to give you guys this video so you had something and it was something I could shoot up real quick and share with you guys. So if you found it helpful, uh, do please drop me a subscribe uh, and a like and stay tuned for more videos. Tomorrow I've got an Azumarill build for the 7 star Charizard. I already have that video up actually. Uh, but tomorrow's video is more of a uh, kind of showcase of how it works in action. Uh, and I hope you guys have the best of luck catching your Charizard. And stay tuned for more videos coming up on the channel. You guys take it easy. Have a great holiday season.